lobby area. I mean, it's a big, it's a big advantage from the other building. We didn't really have no lobby area. Basically, we was all bunched into one little room. And uh, here's a loud separation from the, the Kimmel area. Let's take care of day-to-day -day business and uh, do things like that and help um, the citizens that come in and, you know, with their problems. They want to adopt a dog or animal, cat, whatever they can got the board over here with all the pictures and they can look at the info and, and go through that and uh, you know it gives them an idea hopefully what they're looking for and whether or not we've got it or not. The those are all foster dogs. They're all in my and foster yeah. and those are not here. And, uh, good idea. And, uh, make our way to the kennel area. Yeah, that's kind of what Really extra extra proud of this kennel area compared to the one we come from. Uh, we was fortunate enough to get sponsors for each of these kennels. Uh, we had a few left available if anybody wants to get on board and sponsor one of these kennels. They're five hundred dollars each. It's a lifetime a lifetime sponsorship, and it helps us uh, with some other stuff that we want to do. Uh, Building the kennel area is all metal. You notice which makes it easy to clean, uh, and uh, we got the fan ventilation a lot better than we had uh, down at the old place. And of course, obviously the uh, indoor outdoor kennel is huge. Uh, that allows the dogs to go inside and outside, as you can see that and over there. And most of them stay out there, you know, even if it is a little cold, especially the bigger dogs. They enjoy being on the been on the outside and uh, this is a whole lot better, a whole lot more ventilation and, and it'll be a lot easier to keep clean and, uh, and keep the smell down with having the indoor outdoor and, uh, and the fan uh, ventilation. We have 12 total kennels in here and we have two uh, isolation kennels over on the other side of the building we'll to show you. Take you into uh, our bathing and grooming room. Um, we're proud of this room. It doesn't look like much of a room, but uh, Dr. Ayer was kind enough to donate us uh, the funds to buy this tub. Which, uh, we get a lot of dogs, especially in the summertime in here with cockle barrels and dirty, muddy, and uh, we got a place now we can put them and uh, clean them up before we put them out into the kennels. Uh, this cabinet area, all this storage is something we've never been used to having. And, Beautiful cabinets and just proud of this little this little room here as well. We'll show you and I'll walk through the other side of the building. Uh, this would be one of our cat uh, cat isolation rooms uh, where we can put the uh, cats in here and ones that we'll show you a community cat room momentarily. But this is ones that don't necessarily get along real well with other cats. We can separate them out in here and the unaltered males and stuff will have a place to, to put those so none of the cats are getting mixed up, mixed up in here right now. This uh, isolation kennel room, uh, it's a big, big plus. Uh, we have to go out and uh, handle dog bite cases so quarantine dogs can go here so they're not around the public, um, and even some strays we pick up, you know, they don't, uh, they may not be the best natured uh, dogs, so they can be back here and away from the public. It's a public safety issue, and uh, we're very fortunate to have this. Hopefully, we don't ever have too many dogs back here. That's why we only have two, two kennels. But it's nice, to, nice to have if we do, uh, if we do need it. And uh, you see, we got. Uh, there's a whole lot more room here. There's a huge uh, storage room there, something we've never had. Uh, and we've got our community uh, community cat room up here. Uh, there's exam rooms where we can go in. And, you know, we can do a little bit of uh, medical stuff here. You know, we can check them out and uh, and stuff. We try not to do too much. We rely on our vets a lot for that. So. But just the basic need, you know, give them a warmer or, or some uh, flea and tick dope and stuff like that. We can take care of that stuff 
here. Uh, this is the office. Uh, kind of might get away a little bit, uh, which is good to have. That's something we didn't have down there. A lot of people come in with concerns for me that they may not necessarily want everybody to hear. And uh, we can go in now. You know, we've got an office. We can go in and sit down and, and talk things out and not have to worry about the, somebody walking in or somebody being there that we don't uh, that they don't want. They're not comfortable with being there. Uh, and I think uh, last this uh, community cat room. We got the all glass front door, which is going to allow people to look in. Uh, we're basically, even though we have cages in here, we're basically going to, for the most part, leave these doors open and the cats can free roam. They can climb up on top of the cages. And uh, this is kind of just a hangout room for the friendly cats that can all get along with each other. And they like it a lot better. We had some in here uh, the other day that got in foster just to try it out. And, uh, and it seems like it's going to go over well, so we're we're excited to have that. And people can look through the door and watch them play. And we've got a couple of chairs; they can come in here and sit down with them, and uh, you know, try them out, see if they're not that uh, cat they want. But uh, like I said, I think there's no doubt. I mean, look around this building, and I know you guys, most of the public, have been down to the old building. You know, we've come a long way, and uh, we're proud of this building, and we hope to hope that everybody in Ohio County is proud of it. Uh, we're going to have an adoption event here on December the 8th from 10 to 2. I invite the public to come out and, and get another chance. You know, if you don't do nothing, but come out and look at the building. And uh, maybe you'll find a pet that you'll want that day. Uh, but you know, it's another opportunity for the public to come look at the building and, uh, and see it. And hopefully they'll appreciate it as much as, uh, much as we do.